Let's talk a little bit about how to organize your file, how to keep a structure, right? This is extremely important if your report gets very large, you're gonna add analysis bit by bit, you're adding, I don't know, five, six tables, couple figures, some visuals, you know, and more, and more text. It can get quite complex and, and easily to lose track. So um, the approach that we've taken so far is, you know, we include some text and we include a code chunk, um, several code chunks here, featuring a table and a rich plot. Now, within each code chunk, we're actually uh, executing an R script using the force function, uh, the source function, right? So the, the actual script is saved as an R script on your file, and within the markdown, you call on it, you execute it, all what is needed to be produced is produced, and then, for example, this tab four object is being produced, and then you call on it in the code chunk to tell R, this is the object that I want to include in the report. Let's take a quick look at what each of these R scripts actually do as a reminder here, yeah? So um, let's go to, for example, the one that produces the table. We see it clears the environment, it loads a package, sets the working directory, loading the data from an, from an Excel file, doing some data cleaning, and then actually producing the table here. So all of these steps are included, and then once you call on it in our uh, in, in, in our source command here in the markdown file, all of this gets executed. Let's take a quick look at the one down here where we are implementing the rich line plot. Um, I prepared these files here. So again, we're loading a couple of um, our packages and we're doing some data cleaning and actually producing the rich plot in one go. Notice that we're not loading the data again. We're not importing the data from the Excel file again um, into R because this has already been done, right? So there's sort of a, uh, an incremental approach here where in, within the R markdown environment, uh, they, all the scripts that are being executed build on each other. Now, this can get messy and I don't recommend actually using this approach. That's why I will show you a, a different way to do that. The problem is that we are loading, we are importing the data from Excel in this step. Imagine you want to move down this table into an annex, right? You want to change the position of the table in your, in your markdown file and you move it down. What happens then is that you get an error because actually the figure that we're producing also relies on the data that is being loaded, but the data has not yet been loaded because we moved the code down. So um, sort of a workaround and something that I really recommend is um, just loading everything up front, right? So we include a, a dedicated R chunk for this, a code chunk for this, and we could call it load. And we say include false, which means that whatever happens here is not included in the report actually, right? And then we're just loading um, files separately. And I actually prepared this here to save us some time. And this is what I did. First, I set the working directory with this command, and then I load each script separately. One that's only loading all the script, uh, the packages, one that's importing the data from Excel, one that's producing the table, one that's producing the figure, right? And if we load that in a code chunk up front here, we have everything ready that we can use anywhere in whatever time later in the R markdown file, okay? So, so, so I'd always recommend doing this. Um, also, it's, it's more convenient if you do want to change something, right? If you want to load an additional package or if you want to import new data, if you want to add another figure, you just go to that particular script, make your changes, but your R markdown file will remain intact and unchanged, right? So later in the code chunks, you only refer to the final object that was saved and loaded and, um, and, and you tell R to include that particular output in, your, in the report. Don't forget here in this code chunk, the first one where you load everything, to include false, which basically means that none of this is included in the report. It's just being executed in, in, in the background. Okay? And yeah, I recommend um, structuring your R markdown file this, this way, especially as your project keeps growing to remain sort of an overview, remain structure, and to make it more, uh, to make it easier to, to make edits, but also um, importantly to make it replicable more easily right if others uh, get your hand get their hands on your script you know they need to see what's going on and then um, uh, be able to to replicate it